Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist, and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel, join the fam, because we're here every week, every week, talking about skincare. All right guys, if you haven't seen the prequel to this video, it's up here, check it out, before or after this video. But I talked about my worst retinols in the market currently, and I had to do another one for the best ones that I've found so far. And I looked through a lot of retinols, believe me, a lot of retinols before I decided on this four that I'm gonna talk about today. But before that, I noticed in my last video, I didn't really talk about what retinols are, because I think some people are still confused exactly what retinol retinoids are, because sometimes they're used interchangeably but they're really they're really the same but not really so i'm going to break it down really quickly retinoids is the family retinoids is a vitamin a derivative it's under the umbrella of retinoids you have retinol palmitate which is the weakest doesn't really penetrate the skin and then you have retinols which is the popular one that's over the counter then you have retinaldehyde which is also over the counter i believe but not as popular as retinols and then retinoic acid, which is only prescription. Tretinoin is a common retinoic acid that you get from your dermatologist. There's also adapalene, isotretinoin, um, and so many other forms. Accutane, which is isotretinoin, is also a form of retinoic acid. So all of that is all prescription, except for adapalene, I believe a year and a half ago, or maybe two years ago, became over the counter. So retinol is actually produced in the body, but unfortunately, as we get older, the retinol produced in the body is not as much, it starts to deplete, and it isn't really very functional. Some of the amazing benefits of retinol is it helps in cell turnover, so basically it goes into your skin cells, to your dermal layer, and increases the time for those new skin cells to come to the surface of the skin. It also helps skin texture, uh, definitely have seen a great, great improvement in my skin texture since using my retinoic acid, and also fine lines and wrinkles. I mean, retinol is an amazing, amazing product. You just gotta get through the purging period. I know people talk about purging when it comes to retinol a lot it's very normal because it's going into your skin and you know getting rid of all those dead skin cells on there so you're going to see a lot of acne or you see improvement it doesn't happen to everyone it didn't really happen to me i think i saw mild purging but not so much some people go through a lot of purging because you know they just probably have more dead skin cells so just give it time give it about six to eight weeks to truly see final results so please don't give up on retinol retinol or retinoic acid because they just it's bay okay it really does work <laughs> With that being said, I hope that sort of makes you understand retinols a little bit, retinoids. Even I had to correct myself sometimes. Retinoids a little bit better. And yeah, let's get into the video now. And this is almost in no particular order. This is just a product I really, really enjoyed. First product is actually from Polish Choice. It's their 0.3% retinol plus 2% Bokucho treatment. I really like this one because the 0.3% is a really, really great percentage where it's not overwhelming. I really try to stay away from anything more than one percent just because i just i don't want you guys you know getting in trouble with you know having it stain your skin so i think 0.3 percent is a great dosage and then it also has two percent bokucho which is a natural form of retinol so bokucho here will actually boost the effects of that 0.3 percent retinol to give you really 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 great benefits to your skin so if you're considering a retinol definitely definitely look into this one i think you'll enjoy it all right moving on to number two product here i'm going to talk about this one from the ordinary the 0.5 percent retinol in squalene squalene you guys know is a great emollient amazing oil that helps with redness helps keep our skin nourished and um, of course the 0.5 percent retinol is also in that perfect percentage where it will have those effects that we love retinol for like increasing cell turnover fine lines and wrinkles reducing hyperpigmentation dark spots and just so many other amazing benefits i think this is a really really great product let me know if you've tried it in the comment section below moving on to number three product here is different gel adapalene gel that's pretty popular <laughs> on tiktok especially this one i really really liked because first of all it used to be prescription so you already know uh, that it definitely works because it used to be a controlled medication and now it's over the counter and it's at a 0.1%. Uh, I would say, honestly, try the other two retinols I already recommended before you try this one because this might be too strong for you. Because like I said, it was prescription. It, it technically is a retinoic acid. And it's just not over the counter. If you want to go ahead and try this one, do like a patch test before you use it all over your face. But I think this is a great, great product to have. All right, last and final retinol here is this one from Indeed Labs. I really enjoyed this one. Although, I'm not going to lie, I didn't find the percentage that the retinol is, but I I want to simply assume that it's not above the 1% mark. Because this one also has that Bokucho, which I'm assuming is supposed to help the retinol in it have even better effects on the skin. It helps, again, with the signs of visible aging, skin texture. And I really like this one because it's formulated with encapsulated retinol, although encapsulated is, it's not very new in the market, but it's something that's like a buzzword in the skincare space. 
days. I don't really know that it really works or not because I consider like when you make a batch, it's constantly grinding the products together in a tank could break open that encapsulation or even as a consumer, you're rubbing together that product in your hands could break up that retinol. It probably would never get into your skin, but just uh, giving it a benefit of doubt here and assuming that it does work. I really do like this retinol. For the price of 17 bucks, I think it's a great product. But yeah, you guys, this concludes my top retinols that I'm going to recommend to you guys. I hope you guys like the products. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know in the comment section below. Trust me, like I said in the beginning of the video, I looked at a bunch of retinols. If you asked me about it, I probably looked at it and I I didn't like it. So these four, I think, will definitely get you going. All right, y'all, I will stop talking now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.